And we were lucky enough to watch, of course, two of those spots being filled right here on court one. The other one was a mammoth match, as you can see, between PV Sindhu and Chen Yufei, with Chen Yufei losing the first game, but she came through in the end in about an hour and 20 minutes. One more spot available, and it's either going to be Zhang Yiman or Kani Yamaguchi, the number four seed and, of course, former world number one. And they're up right now. And here they come. Shang Yiman, the world number 15. But of course, from that stable of wonderful ladies singles players from China. And of course, Akane Yamaguchi, that's, well, if you're a badminton fan, you're going to know all about that lady. The former world number one before An Se Young, and served for a very long time is coming back from a bit of an injury she had at the end of last year, but as she's shown this week, is really looking in good form. 4-1 on the head-to-head, -head, and the last meeting was at the season open at the Malaysia Open this year. And that was actually Zhang Yiman that came through. But again, as we said, it was Akane Yamaguchi really still coming back from that injury. She seems fresh and sprightly uh, since then. It's been a good few tournaments. And you'd have to say that even with the skills of Zhang Yiman, that Kani Yamaguchi is going to be on paper the favorite for this one. For Yamaguchi, there's the quarterfinal appearance in Malaysia was pretty much the only significant result she's had so far, 2024, but 2023, eight finals and five of them converted two titles. And as we said, very much the case as it was with Anse Young, to convert finals into titles in, with the kind of players around them in the top five, that's very, very difficult. 27 years old now, Zhang Yiman, born in Hunan. And as you can see, her ranking right now pretty close to her highest ever, which was 13. And as I said, coming from that stable, those were her two results getting here. Her compatriot Han Yue in round two, 36 minutes, and uh, Han is a very capable player. That was a good result. Supernita Katadong also very capable. 56 minutes, dropped a game in that one. And Yamaguchi, well, as you can see, highest ranking one, ranking four right now and has quietly been getting better, I think we should say, from her recovery. A lot of the focus from last year was turned to the likes of Ansa Young and Chen Yufei, of course. So Akane Yamaguchi could quite happily sit in the shadow of both of them and just play the game that she does. Gao Fangji, we watched that uh, 41 minutes, 21-17, 21-12, and then Yvonne Lee in 30 minutes. It's been flawless so far this week. And she's going to be hoping to keep that going to book her first semi-final of 2024. Double world champion, of course, 2021 and 2022. Iris Metzpalu's in the umpire chair. And that's Mikhaila Benkova, I'm sure. Yes, it is in the service judge position. Ready to play. And there is Kauri Imabepu, who we saw earlier on, of course, coaching Aya Hori. And once again, the Chinese national setup producing credible players. Well, Chris Langridge still in the commentary box with me. Chris, um, Yamaguchi is going to be the favorite for this one, but Zhang Yiman, another one of these capable Chinese players. Oh, definitely. Um, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, ranked on my right, uh, 15, the fifth, fifth ranked Chinese player, but she's still a great player. And it's, it's interesting the last game that Yamaguchi and had in 2023 was the final of the Hong Kong China. Open when they actually played each other. But obviously, this year, Zhang Yiman's I'm actually beaten Yamaguchi her earlier on in the year. Yeah. So yeah. there's always that little bit kind of playing in the back of both their minds. You know, Zhang Yiman, she's definitely the underdog on paper, but. She yeah, has, she has yeah. a good, good chance to, to steal another big, big victory here today. 
That's a great opening shot from her. Service over. One, love. Well, last year, she was out in the second round, Zhang Yiman. Yamaguchi withdrew. Two, love. Said that was mainly from, I think, that injury because the French Open usually played in October. For Zhang Yiman, she was in six events, quarterfinal or more, last year. And, of course, picked up a win at the Thai Masters. Great shot. And Yamaguchi showing there, like, she stayed in the rally. She did phenomenal because Zhang Yiman kind of had control of it. But Yamaguchi got such a good defense. She's such a good retriever and yeah. the quality, a recovery, though, yeah. quality of her shot as well when she's in trouble so good. And then in the end, a bit of finesse to finish the rally with. Well, that's the thing. In addition to having all of that, there was a time because Two, I said she's not four. the tallest player, Akana Yamaguchi. She is five foot one and a half inches. And when she first started playing, a lot of people thought, well, that was going to be a bit of a disadvantage. but. Since then, I said all the other parts of her game, as you just said, especially recovery, court coverage, scampering around court like a terrier at times, um, have come together. But there was a time where it was just one spot, just on the round the head overhead on the left side, where they thought you could score against her. But then a couple of years back, she actually made the change to get even faster on court. And so even that one Achilles heel, as it was seen, has been rendered a moot point. Service over. Four, three. A oh, quick succession of points here. Fast tempo. Seven points in two minutes. Service over. Four, all. Five, four. Yeah, not had many rallies so far. Very quick start to the game. Service over. Five, all. Oh. On force there is from both Six. players sneaking into the beginning Five. of this match. Yep, definitely settling into their rhythms. Service over. Six. And neither Four. player really finding any clear cut well of points, I like to call it. An area where you can just keep scoring. And that might be through unforced Service errors. Over. Seven, six. Oh, Zhang Yiman, like a lot of players today, finding a bit of trouble with that back line. Just to pull that in, those big clears. Brilliant from Yamaguchi. Stepped up, punched Nine, her opponent six. deep into the forehand. 
just there. Lovely. Almost yeah. no swing, no action, and <laughs> she takes that so early. Well, by doing that, of course, it just gives her that impetus and advantage in the point. There's a lot of options for her. Ten, six. It's been a very, very quick start to this match. We're five minutes in. Ten, six. We really haven't had many rallies at all. Judgment there. 11 6 interval. Ah,呀,你又开始慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢慢
This was such a good yeah, pickup. Such a great pickup. And the quality of the shot, you can see there how tight it is to the net. Well, that's the thing. It's not just reaching it. It's what you can do when you reach it. And she got both of those big ticks. Thank you. Oh, you have to be on top of your game when you're playing the likes of Yamaguchi. Back on that's court. for sure. And she's closed it up a little. 11-6 at the break. And 13-10 now. Good part of the match, or the game, I should say, to make your stand. Service over. 14-10. 14-10. Still a little bit of leeway in this first game for Zhang Yiman to try to overturn this. But you just get the feeling if Yamaguchi can push it to 16, 17, maybe it might just be the way she's just so reliable in her approach to points. It might be too much for Zhang Yiman just to prove it. 10. Once again, that great pattern that Yamaguchi gets into in the rally. That's just enough. Nicely nicked in. Service over. 11.15. Do you think the thing with Yamaguchi this is so impressive? The the way that she can cover the core, obviously being a slightly shorter athlete, you know, it's it's got to take more steps. It's kind yeah. of it's not obviously a bigger space, but it feels like a bigger space to cover. And she does it oh, so she incredibly does it so well. well. Yeah. And the shot quality that she has is a kind of a super strength for me. When she's in trouble in a bad position, she can still produce very, very high quality. Uh, with her shots. Well, I remember I was commentating with Bobby Griffin, one of our other commentators here at BWF, and he came up with a with a great image. Yeah, I'm not sure Zhang Yiman there realised she just got called a fault for being over the top of the tape. Oh, that is unlucky. Well, what Bobby was saying was that at some points Yamaguchi almost has a separate brain for her arm, so that one brain is con is is controlling where she is positionally in recovery, but the other brain is picking the perfect shot. Service over. 12-16. Well, that fault might just be ringing around Zhang Yiman's head. Four points back. And that all-important stat of unforced errors beginning to creep in 12. as well. Yamaguchi is a very economic and efficient player. Doesn't make that many mistakes. One of the reasons why, of course, she rose to the heady heights that she did. Fantastic shot. 18. So many angles that Yamaguchi can get. 12. So impressive because, obviously, just being just a little bit shorter... You can see here, jumps to yeah. get around that. That's an incredible angle and placement. Well, as I said, she is moving certainly a lot better than she did in Malaysia. 90. There's physical, visible 12. progress in terms of her play. And Zhang Yiman feeling the pressure a bit. 20. So eight game points. Game point. 14 12. minutes on court. And it's been no significant problem so far. The world number four. Service over. 13, 20. Well, that's a couple of points saved. Game. So, 
nothing really to trouble First Yamaguchi just yet. And Chang Yuman's going to have to rethink her approach here. She wants to make it into the semis. Right now, Yamaguchi has one foot in the last four.あかねちゃんの返球シークル そこ繋げてっていうのが。まあ、ちょっとショートのところもいいけど、1個ミスだけのすごい気をつけて。あと、ここのいいところで入った時の結構待ってるから。だからあそこ聞いたじゃん。あそこを入れながらやっぱこっ
And again, and again and yeah. it's the thing, if we're honest, these four rallies, you know, Yamaguchi hasn't had to do anything Six, of a very high calibre. Yeah, she's got a good work ethic. She's working hard. She's moving her opponent. But Zangi Man, she's not in grave trouble. She's not in extreme situation. She's not yeah. fully stretched. She's not really out of position. She's not under loads of pressure. Just getting a little impatient in the rally. That's a good shot. But then Service on the flip over. side, it's hard because Three, she's got to be six. more proactive. She's got to try and be more attacking because she knows that if she's just going to rally, move the shuttle around. It's one of Yamaguchi's kind of super strengths. She can do that, yeah. I think, all day long. And being one game down, what she needs is a catalyst. She needs something that's going to break down Yamaguchi or at least rattle her enough. Service over. Seven, and you can see now in the body language from Zhang Yiman that she's feeling that frustration. It's gone long as well. So, Eight, well, three. this is the thing in the last five to six rallies. For me, Yamaguchi just hit one good shot. That's it. Yeah, and, and the rest has just been playing out the rallies as she would on any training drill. And that's no disrespect to Zhang Yiman. It's just, as I said, it's something you have to do when you play Yamaguchi. No. That one was misread. Yeah, Service plum on the over. line. But this is the thing. You know Four, when you're playing someone like Yamaguchi, eight. you've got to take it on because Yamaguchi's got phenomenal consistency and moves the shuttle around well, good shot quality, even when she's in trouble. And you go for that little bit extra. And once again, we saw a little bit of emotion from Yamaguchi. Upset with that misread, but smiling upset. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. Zhang Yiman, again, just caught up in this rally. And at the rate Service the unforced over. errors are being made, and they're pretty Nine, much solely four. coming from her side of the court, that means Yamaguchi just has to wait. And something with Yamaguchi, this, you know, she, she's kind of so good at controlling her emotions. Yeah. Hiding, you know, her frustrations, hiding her extreme happiness, and she always looks very calm and relaxed, which is kind of a skill because it's... It's very easy to accidentally get swept up in the moment or, you know, you get overexcited or you focus too much on what could oh, happen yeah. or too frustrated or oh, nervous, too positive, anything like that. She always Ten, controls it. Four. And now she's in full flow. I mean, this yeah, is I th I think uh, now. an emotional part to your game is, in, in a certain amount, is, is um, admirable and, of course, it's useful as well. Uh, but if it goes too far, then it is going to start upsetting your rhythm and your inner balance especially in a game like badminton where you need to have it. That's again an example of how quickly she can scamper around court. Oh, beautiful Service shot. Over. Didn't quite make it. Five, ten. Great idea. Oh, she has a buffer. Six, well, I did say at the ten. start of play today that Zhang Yiman and Aya Hori were the two players that had a great run this week but were really knocking on bigger doors uh, in this quarterfinal. And that is no disrespect to either of them, but the likes of Yamaguchi, Tai Tzu Ying, and Se Yong, that's a different Service match for over. them. 11, so six. many different ways. Interval. So 11-6 in the second. Mid-game interval. And Akane Yamaguchi in good stead here. So back on court and again you can just see the wildly different situations in the camps. Yamaguchi bounding back on court, Zhang Yiman just caught wondering, well, what can she do? Well, there is, of course, something she can do, but it means she's going to put herself at great risk. And that's the thing. 
You don't change what you've been doing. You have to advance yourself and add to that. Twelve, but against six. a player like Yamaguchi, you might just be opening yourself up as well. 12-6 on serve. Second phase of play, and Yamaguchi firmly heading towards the semis at this rate. Oh, just Service took over. right off the shuttle that time. Seven, twelve. Not a hundred percent complete at all, but. Shang Yi Man cannot count on mistakes like that happening. Because by the time he starts counting them, this match might be over. Again, great opportunity to come in. Just couldn't connect. That's the thing there from Yamaguchi. She does incredible. I mean, the control from there is very impressive. Now, Zhang Yi Man, yes, she shouldn't miss that, but. It's because it's kind of she's being asked a question again and again and again because Yamaguchi picked two up in that rally that were incredible yeah. pickups. And again there, and this is the thing. Yeah. You 14. know, Yamaguchi, she's just getting it back. Seven. But Man, because she's being asked a question again and again and again, she's making, you know, quite a few more mistakes than maybe we're used to seeing from her. Certainly um, looks like she's overthinking as well. Yeah, and it is. It's when your opponent keeps getting the shuttle back, you, you know, you think you have to be better and better and better, and you kind of force it. And, you know, we're at a point 15, now where seven. she's definitely getting frustrated. You know, she's trying to change the shuttle, which right. makes sense. She wants to break things up, but she's not playing at the level she can play at. You know, other things are going through. Is it that she's getting frustrated she can't get through? Is it she's getting frustrated she's making simpler mistakes? Um, at the moment, without having to do a lot, Yamaguchi is controlling the game. Yeah, and it's also, I think, a case of she hasn't been allowed to play the best form because Yamaguchi's kind of kept Service her in a cage over. in the rallies. Eight. Yeah, and I think it's, it's one of those things, you, you start to think, well, hold on, I can't get through. Yeah. Uh, but as soon as you think that, it's, it's almost the beginning of the end because you can always get through. It just might take an extra shot, an extra two shots, an extra three. Well, I think patience is, uh, uh, is in addition Service to these over. mistakes, and there, there's Six. the frustration. Eight. You yeah, can see eight. she's just not happy. But, it, you know, it's obvious. She, she, she's a world-class player. She's, she's a highly ranked player. She had a great win yesterday against one of her teammates. And you, uh, but it's, it's today, it just it hasn't worked for her so, so far. Her. But this is the big thing. She's a game and 16-9 uh, down. It's not the end. Yeah. She's still got time yeah. to turn around. Yeah. She's got to believe in her body language starting to suggest maybe she doesn't believe. The probabilities might be screaming away from her. But they are still probabilities. And it's all about the destiny that you choose. Oh, oh she really had a bit of indecision there over. as to which grip to use. Yeah, I think first of all, she thought it was going Nine. out, and then she could feel it was coming in, and at that point, she was kind of trapped. So, a good run of points for Yamaguchi. She's now four points away from the semis. And they're still under half an hour in terms of court time. Incredible, oh, though. That's a wonderful little drop 18. in. It's so tight, that net shot. I mean, Nine. you watch it here on the replay. Steps in. She's low, but the control yeah. there is incredible. Yeah. And her opponent, she's on it. Zangi Man, she's read it. There's not really much she can do because the quality from Yamaguchi in that position oh, was just so, so tight. Good. Well, Service over. As I said, it's Ten, just the mistakes that Yamaguchi 18. is making. That's advancing her score. Shake of the head as well. And Chang Yiman certainly is now just playing out these points. That's in. Perfect, yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. 11, There's another smile from Yamaguchi. Very happy at the moment. Well, I said she has the freedom. Oh, that's a wonderful bit of deception at the net. She has the freedom with this buffer. Oh. This is the thing. Look how good she is at retrieving the shuttle. Knew exactly where that was coming back and then sends it out. 12. 
but yes, her court coverage. Wow. And then how did she get that from where she was? And look at this. It's almost like a football drill. Well, yeah, I mean, she's yeah. just covering the full court. She's getting moved absolutely everywhere. Just put two cones there, right. have a run between them. And still, as I said, happy enough. Well, I guess if you're coming back, especially from a leg injury, to be moved around court like that and to, for it to work, that might just be more important. And that's gone wide. Well, if this keeps going, then maybe, Mercy. just maybe, those probabilities I was talking about might just start falling back to Zhang Yiman. But I have a funny feeling that Yamaguchi is about to step up. If this gets to 15, maybe. Now this is the thing now, one. but you can see it's starting to change. Zhang Yiman's starting to believe she's starting to get through. You know, we even saw a little fist pump. Wow. But it's just a little bit too late. Now, it's definitely not over, not at all, but... Right, uh, my, yeah, I, you know, I agree Yamaguchi's still got this big buffer of four points, and it was just too big a lull. There was a big gap in kind of the middle of the second game where... Yeah. Kind of Zhang Yiman, she almost... It wasn't that she felt sorry for herself, but she started to, like, not believing. She started to doubt herself too yeah. much. Now, I think it was right in the middle of when she was lost. I think it was close to six points in a row. Yamaguchi now focusing a bit more. Nice little pick up there. Great rally from both ladies. Beautiful tracking back from Yamaguchi. Oh, that was just sublime. That drop from midcourt. Gets her the 19th point. Have a look at this. Missed the quality of it. It's so tight. Slow but tight drop to the net, making her opponent move the full distance. Yeah, and look at the way she took it. She was literally leaning. It was almost behind her. It's important that for Yamaguchi, just stopping that big run. Five points. Zhang Yiman. <laughs> I think the replay says it all. Zhang Yiman is... Almost given up the ghost. 36 shots, longest rally of the match. And almost at its conclusion. Play. Well, whatever belief she did have may have just been knocked out again. Still those shots come back. Saved so by the back sober. line. 15-19. Well, the question now is, of course, it's 19th point. No mistakes allowed for Zhang Yiman. And there's one. So, five match points. Service over. 33 20, minutes. Match point 15. <coughs> Service over, 16-20. And she's going to have to wait. Shang Yiman up against the wall here. Oh, nicely picked up by Yamaguchi. That one's gone wide. So in the end, it was two mistakes that sealed the game for Yamaguchi. And that is our final semi-finalist. That last berth has gone to Akane Yamaguchi. Yeah, and the big thing is, Yamaguchi's opponent of Chen Yufei tomorrow has played for Match 58 minutes Akane longer Yamaguchi. than Yamaguchi today. 14, yep, she certainly had a tough match against PV Sindhu. And that'll be interesting to see. Well, comprehensive stuff from Yamaguchi. Played the numbers as she has done for so many matches in her career. Nothing spectacular, nothing special, but more than enough to find her way through. And this, her first semi-final for 2024.
and she's reached it in style. 21-14, 21-16, and as you can see, 34 minutes on the clock in the end, and she's through. One action continues with the final match of session one. Remember, two sessions happening on quarterfinals Friday, and it's the mixed doubles, Zheng Shiwei and Huang Yashong, the world number ones and number one seeds up against Dechapon and Sapsiri from Thailand that have been in a revitalized um, area of form in this last couple of months. Here's the mixed doubles draw. 